He's touched it. It says we're live. We should be live, man. Gary Traveler. We are live here with uh, Sean and the Atrocity Girls. We have LJ, Angie, Ryan, and Johnny Angel. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, whoa. <laughs> so, good, so we've got a few beers for you tonight. They're all uh, here from here in Atlanta since since we don't travel too much right now. But uh -huh. uh, it's coming. We are going to travel soon enough. I want to, I want to get going. Definitely, we'll definitely come out towards Seattle. Uh, my wife is from out there. My father-in-law lives and just on the other side of the mountains in Oregon. So he lives in the desert. It's <laughs> always fun to go out there. Cool. Um, so, he's so uh, in a box at my house which was fun to open a box from Georgia with just a bunch of beer. Am I supposed <laughs> to say it? We're surprised. Unlabeled. <laughs> Unlabeled cocktails. <laughs> and I was like, yes. this is for Costa girl. Mystery. You know, <laughs> you, know you, you know, Sean, you should start putting like a, the skull and crossbones on those yeah. bottles when you spend <laughs> them out. Like, oh, we'll drink it. Like, here you go. I and like that. Going, like you can really pirate it up. Like, if you guys really want to do it that way, I would highly suggest just using permanent marker and make it look as ghetto as possible. Yeah. Wait, if you look at the caps, the caps should have a little permanent marker on top. <laughs> you saw that. You see, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, don't tell me to be more ghetto. Nice, nice. nice. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the ingredients in a mason jar over here. We are so <laughs> pathetically sad oh, right okay. now. So we're all doing good here. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mason jar booze is the best. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, let's talk about the beer real quick. The first one we're going to do is the uh, Frenchies Blues, the Terrapin. So y'all get a, to learn a little bit about some Georgia beers. So Terrapin's, Terrapin's one of the big boys uh, down here in Georgia. There's, there's, there's two... two uh, Pretty large breweries uh, here in here in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, areas where these breweries are like the king of the block, and Terrapin is one of them. The They've been making beer for a long time. This one is uh, called Frenchies Blues, so it's named after a Braves player. Oh, nice! Oh, and I, mean, I, I knew it was going to be purple. I knew it. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a gorgeous color. Oh, Are we drinking yet? Cheers. So, Cheers, so Frenchies Blue. So Jeff Francoeur was uh, a brave, and uh, he was Ooh. like an up-and-coming local boy and did really well and hit a slump, got sent down, and for whatever reason, just never kind of came back and got bounced around the rest of the league. But now he's a broadcaster for the Braves, so – I guess his in-laws are uh, the ones that grow these blueberries. So it's, I, can, I, can, I knew it was kind of fruity. Nice. Uh -huh. Definitely a dedication. So it's a Berliner Weiss, Very which great. means that the beer is a sour wheat beer, nice. German style. So it has a secondary fermentation where they add the fruit after the beer is made. That way you get more flavor from the fruit into the beer. Oh, that is on the sour side, but it's not. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, it's fairly tart, but it's a light body beer. Yeah. Mm, I don't think I've had anything like that before either. It's like Open. a beer was going to be a spiked seltzer. Yeah. This tastes this is good. Familiar. This is really good. I taste this this, is similar, but this definitely tastes better. Yeah, this is, this is definitely that, got that second fermentation where they are adding the fruit and getting the fruit of that into the beer, the flavor of that. Mm -hmm. Nice tag. You guys got a little zing to it. It's nice. It's got a little zing, yeah. but it's not, it's not, it's really smooth too though. For sure, I dig it. Yeah, it's got like the, the tartest notes of blueberry that yeah. kind of yeah. get packed in there. I like mm -hmm. that. We're going to win. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, we're winning. Johnny, on that. Stop it! <laughs> All right. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, yourselves. How'd you guys get started doing music? 
what really uh, brought you together? Uh, we like to call it fate. Yes. But if you really want to get technical with it, uh, we all, we, um, Angie and I originally met through a few mutual friends and uh, we really hit it off uh, musically and we kind of went through periods of, you know, finding players that I think were going to kind of suit the, the sound and aggressiveness that we were looking for. So we were doing, we we're searching high and dry and then we found Jess, which we okay. actually tried our LJ out. We tried, <laughs> we tried her out and as soon as we had first heard her play, it was like solid. We didn't need to find anybody else. Like, Please. <laughs> she was it. And then uh, we went through a series of trying to find, I think a lot of bands go through this, but to try to find good bass players. And we found a great bass player. And it took a, it took a trial and error of, you know, just trying to find the one that was going to fit for what we were going to do. And, uh, and I don't know, it just kind of, it was all history from there. Like, Ryan and I kind of knew each other mutually through Facebook and we didn't actually meet till a couple of years later for the first time. And then Ryan met the girls at the first time ever they invited her to a Slater Kinney concert. It was, that was, <laughs> it, was it was such a so weird twin. It was so yeah. weird. It was so weird that the way I hadn't met them before, but I knew Johnny almost what three years before yeah. we hung out once and I had started another band. I have another band called Mallory. I almost asked her to play lead guitar for that band. Instead, I just decided to stay a trio. And then I didn't talk to her after we hung out for a while. But then she uh, you messaged me a couple you months later and was like, oh, I need a bass player for Atrocity Girl. And I was like, I just never played bass for a band before. So I took the opportunity. We had to seduce she her with like tacos and oh, beer. Yeah. We, yeah, they, we wined and dined her. I said, I said no a couple of times until I got really drunk off tacos. And and margaritas. And yeah, also yeah. meet Johnny at eating tacos that night. Oh, that, oh, oh, oh that's right. I beat you at tacos. Actually won that night. No, no, I, 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 I actually did. Let's not get in. We like tacos. Like tacos. I, I, that's won, I won. I won. Tacos are uh, <laughs> right up there. With Muy bueno. bueno. She's in her band. <laughs> and she beat you. <laughs> no, it's actually not. <laughs> it was because she was almost about to beat me, and I was like, you know, I think this could work. So we've we finished the beer. <laughs> Solid. It was delish. Yes. Well, we're glad you liked it, and uh, we have more to come. More I just, to... I have <laughs> one short follow-up question yes, from yes. that night, that fateful night of, of margaritas and tacos. What kind of tacos? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Shout, shout out. out. Okay, so shout out. Shout, shout out Red to Star. Red Star Tacos. Uh, Red Star Taco Seattle. Bar. They have um, oh. they have really beautiful, unique types of tacos. Like it was like tequila lime. I had like um, it's like fish tacos. They're like I don't Portobello know. They're just mushroom. they have like buffalo ranch, blue sweet potato. Yeah, oh, yeah. very good. They're, they're, good. they're very unique top. They're just unique nice. flavored tacos. They've yeah. endorsed yeah. us actually. They kind of endorsed like, us a little. Bit. <laughs> like we love them. They love us. Oh yeah. <laughs> They, they know when we're coming in. When that day that we came in, they were like, we're like, hi. And they're like, oh, trust the girls are here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they also have really unique margaritas, too. They have great mezcal margaritas, Ooh. pineapple. Yeah. How many of those oh, mezcals yeah, did I have last, last time? Margaritas? She had six. I had like six mezcals last time. And it was over. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. like to drink. Yeah. Oh, oh, good, good. <laughs> No, no, you, no, you wait. <laughs> you should have made a mezcal like, cattle you know, cocktail. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this fits the theme, dude. You guys, you guys had us at beer. Traveling's cool, but beer. <laughs> and cocktails. We got another beer. What are we? What are we? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Tucker. We're All right. Tucker. So this is Heavy Bison. The camera. Oh, do your little. Oh. Do the Tammy thing. Do the Tammy thing. <laughs> I love that. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So shout out to Tammy. Trailer, trailer trash, trash Tammy. Tammy. We love you. Fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, Tucker Brewing Company, and they're in Tucker, Georgia, uh, which is just uh, northeast of Atlanta. So they're pretty new. They're in, from 2017, and they don't make a lot of ales. This is actually one of the only ales they make. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's uh, very traditional in style. So Heffy Bison comes from oh, the Munich, gosh. Bavaria area of Germany. Mm -hmm. And like it says right on the can, notes of 
uh, banana and clove are very yeah. common in this it's style of beer. Right here, yeah, let's say that. The okay, it's, okay. It's, cool. it's one of my favorite yeah. types of beer. Heavy bison is basically, it means yeast and wheat. Yes. yes. And I'm trying to steal so, it from Johnny right now. I could have made a joke. Yeah. But she's hugging it. About yeast. Yeah. I, I yeah. kind of like this. <laughs> I like this one. I think I'd oh. like it a little bit more if it sat a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I like that. Like that. Don't, don't, the no, just give it all to me. It's oh. fine. <laughs> this is oh, nice. Like, it smells almost a little bit like banana bread. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good. You should have that that banana I bread. Need, that, as soon as I finish my morning coffee, and that clove. Bread. That like spiced banana bread, yeah, and then that kind of bubble gum kind of finish to it. Hey, do you guys uh, know where Bainbridge is? Bainbridge, Georgia. Yeah. Is it up north know. or down south? <laughs> so yeah, yeah so, so, south, uh, close, southwest. I want to say southwest ish. Uh, yeah, but anyways, that's where I was born. So down down by uh, El Benny. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Bainbridge, Georgia, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look. Up, I'm gonna look up where it is later on. I, I, I'll be. I'm not a native, so I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I've, I've been here for a while. I, I, I grew up in Minnesota, but uh, yeah, and I'm an army brat. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a brat. Right. right. So uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about like some of the things you've worked on and. Uh, you know, where you come along to where you're, you're at now, like, you know, some of the projects you've done. Yeah. yeah. So we actually just celebrated our first year together as a band. Um, and throughout that time, we've done a lot of um, practicing, perfecting, getting our set list down, um, finding our tones, finding ourselves. Um, oh. We became an LLC. We like, became an LLC through, you know, just really taking the time together during the pandemic to really build a brand. Yeah, yeah. build ourselves yeah, so and our music. Trusty music, trusty girl. Like, like, yeah, talk about what's the biggest thing, Johnny? So the biggest thing that's <laughs> happened so far is um, over the past year um, with uh, a help from like the Seattle Artist Trust Fund um, through friends, through family, we were able to well, raise and save money to be able to now start gathering all of the tools and equipment that we need. And now we're start, we are in the middle of setting up our recording studio so that now uh, we are gonna start solely doing things on our own. And we wanna do that not only for ourselves, but we wanna do it to empower other women and girls in music to do the same thing, to be able to take charge of their own destinies in music. And Absolutely. if that makes sense, cause that's what we are, what Trocity Girl, we're huge advocates for is we want to empower not not only like people but you are women in in music but everybody absolutely yeah. and learning is exciting mm -hmm. um, you know there's there are so many amazing women uh, here that have offered advice or gear and it can seem overwhelming but you just start with step one you know download pro tools or look at reviews for different boards and um, just yeah just try to gather that knowledge and realize that um you know someone else can learn so and so can you and so we're really building kind of from the ground up and we're learning engineering and we're learning the basics of tracking and it's it's really uh it's empowering but it's it's really fun too you know it, it just it's a really good feeling to take that control when there are so few women on this side of the music industry. Would it be wrong to say, or not, it's not even wrong to say, but like, it's just, you know, there's one thing that resonates with me all the time, especially playing live or any endeavor that we take on, and I hear this a lot, is that, wow, you're really good for a woman. And that, mm. I'm yeah. sorry, it needs to oh. stop. Like, <laughs> yeah. The reasons why it's You so guys are laughing because you've said it before. You know it. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, was, I was grinning because I, I know I've said it before, but I've, I know I've, I've heard it too. It's just like, all you have to say is, hey, you're really good. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. But yeah. And I think like another thing too, that's for me personally, and I feel like the girls are, uh, feel the same way, is that we want to do something as a female band 
that is is different. We want to push the bounds of what people think a stereotypical all girl band sounds like. Like we like to have the heaviness. We like to have the androgynous vocals. You know what I mean? And just yeah, we like that because we want people to wonder. Like yeah. you know. <laughs> I I mean I I'll be honest. I, that's I think it's one of my Instagram accounts was following you or like I saw it and I was scrolling through like that that looks awesome. Yes, I'm gonna follow them. Nice. And, uh, that was like January. Thank you. And uh, yeah, absolutely. And then we started this show two weeks before lockdown, so sometime in March. And, March. Uh, yeah. And uh, so I think it was maybe a month into it, like, oh, I wonder if they want to be on the show. <laughs> you guys, would you guys normally do the show together or separately from your own home? Like, if the... we've done it, we've done it a bunch of different ways. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Okay. We've we've done it in the hotel Cheeky. room together. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's ideally we'd we'd be in the same spot, but uh, this is this is what's working out for the end of days. Yeah, for sure. But uh, no, 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 so I, I mean, actually travel more out and get to different places, and you know, we we tried to go in in when we was it July when we went up to uh, see a band in Ohio. We went to Cincinnati. J end yeah. of June, July. Right around there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was still kind of you know, just shaky of going to a concert still. I wasn't, yeah. you know. Yeah, I haven't been able to go to concerts since March. What's a concert? Yeah, not here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What is it? What's a concert? <laughs> <laughs> I have Girl, one concert t-shirt from this year you. and I'm proud of it. Yeah, yeah. From that show, right? Yeah. From that show. Uh, so I, I have I have one uh, one question. What's your what's your favorite skill then that you've picked up in forming this LLC and doing your own recording and tracking and, and doing mm. your, your own business side? Yeah, just I mean, has it? Yeah, that's a good, um, I'd say that's like the biggest part. Yeah. Um, um, I feel like recording, but even just the desire or kind of the the drive. To even record i don't think i would have had that before to mm -hmm. think oh I, like, we can do this ourselves or um you know i can just go and like learn this whole daw system i don't think i would have had that feeling and mm -hmm. that um kind of that confidence so I, I feel like being uh an atrocity girl and what we've done together has really helped me um feel like yeah we can accomplish this cool definitely I mean, it's hard to say because I feel like we've all learned quite a bit. You know, we not only are we learning about each other as people and as musicians, but, you know, we're also learning each other's songs and styles and, you know, trying to bring that all to the table to, to create what, you know, what we have. And I, I think the biggest thing is just continuing to learn from um, – other people, other bands, you know what I mean? Anybody really to evolve. Cause that's like the biggest goal for us is to evolve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're in the process of doing that right now. And it's, it's been beautiful. We've come a really, really long ways from when we first started. Yeah. Awesome. I think yeah, that's probably the yeah. biggest one because there was nothing else out of everything that's happened so far in the last year, nothing has been as big as where we like kind of, we had a few attempts where we were going to go to a studio and like, we just, yeah. I don't know, we just came back for some reason. We all sat here one night and we were just, we all looked at each other and I kind of felt like even without saying, we're like, you know, we're going to do this on our own. Yeah. We can do it. And it's going to be awesome. So, but like Angie said, even me, I've never felt like that before. I don't think there was any other situation where I would have been like, you know, been like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I want to. Like, it's just such a drive of the Trusty Girl that I, I love being part of this band so much and we all share like you know the same vision and the same feeling we're here to equally support um people here or anywhere in in the music scene you know we're not a competitive band we don't look at this as a money maker and we're not trying to be that we're only trying to create change in the best in a way that we know how to do it as artists you know what i mean because i think before we leave this earth if we can impact anybody in our lives, that's what counts the most. And if we just so happen to become successful because of that, it's only the bonus that comes with it. It's the goal in mind is just to create change, period. 
But I think that there's a, maybe a lot of people have forgotten that, especially right now during a pandemic. Yeah. It's, we need yeah. unity and, and love, you know, and, and I feel like music's the only way to go about doing that right now. I agree. I mean, and always, so. So, um, with that. And beer, and beer, beer, and beer, beer, and beer, and beer. <laughs> now, now, uh, did you, uh, play a lot together of shows? You said you've only been, you've been together for a year, so, you know, that's, in March, though, is pretty much when everything shut down. We ended up actually playing, so our first show was in November, and then we were pretty solid, solidly booked, and then we even had to cancel about 10 no, shows. There was more shows like, to cancel. Like, was a lot like, more. I don't know, in festivals. So we had to cancel everything. There was probably we about 20 shows that we yeah. had to cancel because so of COVID. We were booked pretty much to the to fall. Yeah. Yeah. So. And even if uh, we made it yeah. that far, we would have been to the next Yeah. That's true. rough. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Because since we started, we've actually only played eight shows with with, a, with crowds. Yeah. And we've only done we've done two or three live no, streams. I think we've done about four, right? Yeah. Four live streams. Yeah. <laughs> four four live streams <laughs> since COVID. Like, but we're always kind of hanging out and playing, so we try to put out music <laughs> as we're playing. So it feels like we've been playing this whole time, even though we haven't, which is really weird. <laughs> So that's <laughs> cool. That shows a lot because that's where, that's where you get that I miss people. It's where you get that connection, and it's just I didn't believe it at first. I remember back in like February where they're like, "Oh, we're gonna cancel one show." And we're like, "Okay, that's fine. We're gonna cancel two shows." Yeah. Okay, three, yeah. four, no, five, no, six. Wait, 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 no, no, no. no. The summer is wiped out. Twenty twenty is out. Yeah. yeah. So, but luckily, music can also transcend physical space. You know, if we record something, which is also the drive to record, your music can, um, you know, reach anybody around the world. And mm -hmm. and that's to me the beautiful aspect of music is that it's something you can actually share um, across spaces. And across which is about eight thousand miles. <laughs> Yes. And actually, yes. even further, like we've had people reach out for us from like Switzerland and France, and it's, it's been crazy. amazing, you know. That's cool. That is That's cool. Awesome. Amazing. All right. Well, let's move on to the next beer. Yeah. It's already game oh, night. So oh, that oh, show so that yeah. for all you beautiful gamers out there. Yeah, yeah. right. Game, yes. game night. I got this one for Sean. Yes. Sean is the gamer. So are you guys gamers? Is this? Sean is a gamer. Yeah. Be... My son's a gamer. My son Favorite. is five years old and loves Minecraft and talks about it all the time. Okay. So favorite, favorite game? System. Yeah, favorite game and favorite system. Of all time. Uh, okay, of all time, uh, it's probably favorite video game is Diablo. Okay. Nice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> again, middle. Uh, so, and the whole series, or I mean, you could say Diablo 1. I was one of those 12 year olds on the original Battle.net with a level 75 character just punching Diablo with my hands because I could. Nice. Uh, and uh, that was during Catholic school. So, you know, good times. Nice. <laughs> awesome. um, so I, I mainly game on PC. Uh, uh, outside of that, I really like PlayStation just because they have all the JRPGs, which is. Yeah, you know, baby. <laughs> yes. I'm PlayStation, bro, I'm not going to lie. I'm a Nintendo 64, and I love all the Zeldas, dude. Huge. Nice. Yeah. See, that's what I, I, I played all those. Zelda. Not the, uh, not the newer ones, but uh, no, I remember the, the original ones. Zelda. That was the yeah. hardest game ever. <laughs> so, <and laughs> us. Okay, no, no, wait, wait a minute, though. There was a time when I, I tore my ACL, and I was, on the, I was on the bench for a year, and I got sucked into Twilight Princess on the Wii. That was a nice. That's oh, a hard one. I fell, like, okay, I fell in love with the Twilight yeah. Princess. I'm sorry. I think that's, like, the only one I wasn't able to be. Yep. Yeah. No, I beat me off Link. I beat the second one, Link, before I was able to beat the first Zelda. Um, oh, Link's Adventure. That was the first one I beat, the, too. Yeah, the, I, yeah. Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, or whatever. I'm talking about Nintendo, like yeah, no post show. Like, I have gold. I have gold copies of both. I'll grab them. 
I, yeah, that one was that one pissed me off. I can <laughs> I can beat the whole thing multiple times. Oh, hell yeah. I can tell you every fucking I know how to beat the water temple a billion times. I, I think on, I think Ocarina's pretty straightforward. Majora's Mask gave me a freaking heart attack. Oh, that oh, was oh, Majora's Majora's Mask. Actually, actually, both the Zelda games on N64 fucking pissed me off. All right. Before we get too far off, let's uh let's talk about yeah. the beer real quick. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes, oh, it's it's cool. this is a hazy IPA from Second Self Brewing. Uh, they're here in Atlanta as well. Ooh, amber. It's actually clearer than I would have thought for a hazy. This yeah. one's actually kind of a nice, enjoyable IPA. Yeah. I'm not really a huge IPA person, but if it's not overly yeah. hoppy, it's very enjoyable. It's, it's going to be I very hoppy. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is going to have citra and mosaic hops, and the hops are going to be the, the driver of this bus. Before I even taste it, I know it's that. <laughs> Despite its name and game time, I really love my hops in <laughs> Hop Pro Scanner, but I don't like my hops in my beer. I, I'm an IPA girl. Oh. Damn. Hops and hops. hops, and hops. I, I, I love hops. I've been waiting to say that to somebody for years. Girl. Stop. <laughs> We're talking so. about game time. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. IPAs are actually super popular in Seattle. Can you, I believe you? that. No, really? Well, they're super popular here. They're super, they're super popular everywhere. Oh, so, IPA. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. An IPA and a bitch I'm more of a heavy. That last one was killer. You got the drink? So the citra, the citra hops I can taste on this one. Mm -hmm. That's pretty happy. It's my juicy hops. though. My hops, my hops. Nice. Yeah. The mosaic hops kind of mellowed out a little bit. But it's, okay. it's, like it it's definitely piney. It's that piney citra hops, piney grapefruit. Mm. It, it, it makes you want to slap my mom. Yeah. <laughs> this one is 6.1%, so it's kind of lower for an IPA. Middle of the road. I think all of lower. the beers have been extremely yeah. tasty. I just, I'm just personally just not a big IPA fan. Ooh. I love IPAs. You can have It's because you're in Washington. Well, Damn, you can't say that because I'm from here and I'm not alcohol a drinker. Content, mine's typically higher. Dude, I don't know if you guys know this, <laughs> I know. But, <laughs> but Seattle and Washington is obviously the hop capital of the world. And yeah, that's where they're all grown. <laughs> and, and so a lot of people here are, they're really huge into their IPAs here. I mean, huge, yeah. dude. It's wild. Yeah, West Coast hops are. Well, you know, I know Portland. Portland is big with that. <laughs> with I know Deschutes Brewery. We don't get that here. We don't get the Deschutes, which is yeah. which oh, is one that I like. Yeah, that's an Oregon. You are you are going yeah. in your dark beer. It's beautiful. I'm pretty yeah, sure. I'm pretty yeah. sure. When, I'm pretty sure when shows come back and I play on the Seattle stage, and I'm like, Nah, man, I'll pass on the IPA. They're like, Get her off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll, take, I'll take you off the stage. <laughs> With the little meme you sent us the other day. Oh, yeah. I'll drag you off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I would carry her if she was drunk. I would just drag her. <laughs> no, we're due, we're definitely due for a trip out west. We haven't been to Washington in a couple of years. You definitely come. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll we'll come out there definitely within the next couple of years. Uh, I've got I've got my so, novel tree membership card. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm ready yeah. to go. Now my father-in-law does this. Oh, my father-in-law throws this big party called Party in, pa in the Pasture, and yeah, he basically huh? puts this flatbed truck up, uh, a flatbed trailer up against his barn and makes a stage. And oh, brings yeah. in like, all sorts of local bands and people just camp out and do it for free. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. We accept, we will come play it. Yeah. She says we'll yeah. accept Okay. Yes, I'll play it. I'll get him. To, I'll get him to invite you. Absolutely. <laughs> He'd be all for it. Nice. It's in uh, Hermiston, Oregon. So it's out in like you got to go through wine country and yeah, right yeah. across the border into. Oh, wine! Oh, more booze. Do they have good wine in Washington? <laughs> oh no, no, that was that was sarcastic. <laughs> Uh, so wait, so I, I'm kind of curious since we're drinking game night and we kind of got on a game tangent for there for a minute. Have you been playing any games during quarantine? <laughs> Sincerely, I don't anymore. I'm solitaire, <laughs> solitaire on occasion. I, oh. play, I played Smash <laughs> Brothers a few times. I <laughs> maybe Star Fox. <laughs> Four, maybe. I played Ew. some Zelda for sure. Sweet. I started I playing Wii Golf. No way, you Wii Golf? Yeah. Yes. 
The no, we, 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 had, we had one night after practice oh, where yeah. we all met at Andy's house and we had a street, street fighter. fighter. Street Fighter. Street we fighter. put yeah. it on, on the projector on the wall and we were like SNES, like Street Fighter going at it. it I've never fun. seen Andy so like full of fight. I mean, no, we were like, it was intense. It was pretty intense. It was intense. It's one of my favorite games. I get really passionate about it. It was I a whole other side to answer. I know. Yeah. It was a match. I know. A match. It was awesome. We're going to have a rematch. It's <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. I, oh, Street Fighter. I was terrible. Mortal Kombat was my game. <laughs> Mortal Sorry. Kombat. I like Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter's classic, but Mortal Kombat. Someone say Tekken? Tekken. Oh, man. No, Mortal Kombat. You know what? This is how old I am. One of my favorite games growing up was, you remember the old gauntlet with the little the little guys? You had like the the green elf or the the axe guy or the wizard. You had to go find the you had to go find the exit, the the black exit, whatever, mm -hmm. to get to the next level, and you just had to keep going. And you could play up to four. You could have all four of you playing on the same one. Six. Nice. They should make an updated version of that for old people like me. <laughs> there you go, Sean. There's your that's, video game design. Make me. That's why they have ROMs, man. You could do it. Make me a new gauntlet. I I'll throw down the gauntlet. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have AC over there or what? Terrible. What was that? Said so you guys have AC over there or what? We we have AC is on, although I'm in a sound booth, so I'm uh, yeah. I'm Schwetzen. Oh, we're hot. Yeah, it's crazy. My my basement is very comfortable. It's almost like a a wine cave down here. I read about Dude. eight degrees. This basement is so nice. <laughs> it is. Oh my! I love that. It's just so cold. It's I love it. That's I, my favorite. Yeah, I, I would I would I camp out in his basement if I could. I love you have like all the beer set up and the sound oh. foam and like your stash and you just and your stash. Like the only thing I see wrong with this picture is the water. You can just make <laughs> that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I I feel very offended. There's a reason for it. <laughs> I yes. I cause water. I, 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 I'll share it after the show, but I need water because um, otherwise things yeah. go south. <laughs> Quick. Right. I, that's po that's post-show stories. Oh. Although if you ever watch any of the extended like five-hour episodes on YouTube. There's a few of some out there. You can see what happens because I'm like, I don't remember doing this for five hours. Some of them, yeah. Some of them were like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> things happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you ready to play perhaps your first song of oh, the sure. evening? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, finish, finish the yeah. beers. Yeah, chug it, chug it, chug it. She's going to drink all my beers. Next. Sally, you want to slap my ass? Check, check, one, two. 
You guys remember that movie, Old Yeller? Yeah. Hey there, Old Yeller. Come back, Yeller. Hey, Old Yeller. Hey, Old Come back, Yeller. like the compression on the microphones <laughs> for, for for a few seconds there like it just went from like the sound bump it was just like nope <laughs> oops well whatever you guys did get that song was called riot excellent well actually yeah and um well, if if you have any any links to that i we can talk about this after the show but we'll, we can also post it in the comments and post it uh elsewhere so everyone can also see official recordings not just us uh, getting sideways live. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and recordings are coming. <laughs> Rock on, so to speak. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, is it, I think it's cocktail o'clock. Tom's turn. <laughs> All right. So uh, I have two cocktails tonight, and they are reinterpretations of some classic cocktails uh, based on uh, uh, Angie sent me uh, one song and I listened to a few others online 
and uh, it just made me think about rock and roll and 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 and, and drinking hard. I was, I was trying to drink as hard as you rock, essentially. So yes. get you fucked up, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. I mean, I I could hear it in the music, so I was like, God, I gotta go hard. So uh, I have two cocktails. The first one, um, oh gosh. Uh, let's go with the bottle that you have uh, labeled Hari K, um, which uh, is, I, I didn't really know what to call it. It's based off of a, an old shot cocktail uh, called the Kamikaze. Now, the Kamikaze is traditionally vodka, triple sec, and lime juice. But I wanted to go harder, and I also want to do a little southern representation. So we're going to do moonshine, triple sec, and lime juice. You do need to shake this up. Uh, cause what you have is just all those liquors, like 12 ounces of, uh, so I'm going to switch over to my cocktail cam, cocktail cam oh, and sweet. right. What kind of moonshine are you using there, Sean? What kind of moonshine am I using? That's great. I am using American born. Uh, oh wait, where's the camera? There it is. So we got a couple you? different moonshines, but this is what's in, uh, the, uh, the cocktails are for the, for all the ladies playing the home game. What's, what's the proof on that one? That is a good 103. Oh, so I'm, I'm beating you on this one. Yeah. I'm a, I, my moonshine is 140 proof. Yes. Well, Ian, uh, Ian might it's not called, make it. It's called the mule kicking 140. All right. So uh, basic, uh, basically set up for this. We're going to do an ounce and a half of moonshine. We're going to do... Three quarters ounce of triple sec. And of course, if you have, if you're playing, if you're playing the pre-bottled cocktail, just throw it all in a shaker and shake it up. <laughs> and, all right. Ounce and we do about. You're uh, going fast for me, Sean. Sorry. So ounce and a half of shine. Three yep. quarters ounce of triple sec. There's three liquors in this. Excuse me. Three quarters ounce of triple sec. Right. And then a half ounce of lime juice. All right. Oh, this is definitely a strong drink for sure. All right. So once you got your ounce and a half of uh, moonshine, your three quarters ounce of triple sec, and your half ounce of lime juice, give it a good shake. Moonshine is my favorite whiskey of all time. Well, you were born in South Georgia. I should expect so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so give that a nice shake. We're gonna pour is that. Is this like a shot? Are we doing a shot here? Uh, yes, but it's uh, this is a this is a this is a rocker shot oh, yeah. right here. Yeah. yeah. Let me uh switch back to face cam real quick. This is a good size shot. Uh, right. I, Again, I was inspired, so this is all, this is all, <laughs> this is because of you all. This is oh, awesome. Yes. 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 This Jesus, is John. Drink yeah, up, baby. It burns. Up, baby. It burns us. Oh. Woo. Whoa. Nice. Oh, nice. I wish we could do that, but we have to share. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. You have, I give you a full bottle. Use all of it. This song would be fuck yourself. This Sorry, we, we just yeah. count it. If this was one of our songs, it would have to probably be fuck yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've our seen song. that t-shirt online. Yeah. So, thank you. Yeah, that's a hard cocktail, man. <laughs> probably even right. I do like it, though. It's amazing. Sean, you should have made that with the moonshine I, I got here. You should have took some of this. It'll, it'll get the job done. So This right here. Like, I'm, I'm afraid to drink the rest of this. Yeah, me too. That Do it! It's yeah, good, though. Oh, no, I will. I will. I'll get through it. I'll get to it. Well, I'll take and, it. Antagonizers. All right. So, we have another one. I know. Yeah, there's, another, there's two cocktails. Before we get a little looser on the show. A little looser, guilty. <laughs> so, uh, so that, that first cocktail originally was called a uh, 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 kamikaze. Uh, I put Harry, Harry K on there because I was thinking like, oh, we can do 
uh, Harikari, but like that ah, seems racially insensitive. I don't want to call it that. Um, uh, so then I was like, well, I like Hari Kondabolu, the comedian. And that's the last thing I landed on, which has nothing to do with the cocktail. I just thought, he's funny. <laughs> he gets a cocktail. So he, why not? Why should he not get a cocktail? Him he's, even the after, he's even funnier after he's even funnier after you drink this. That's why comedy clubs have a two drink minimum. So speaking of two drink minimums. Johnny's mom is calling. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Tell her I said hi. You're live. Say hi. If I had a nickel for every time I've said that. Um, oh. <laughs> my mom says hello all the way from Alaska. Oh, your mama's awesome. I love it. Right. Give us that stash. I'm gonna I bet it. Back yeah, right? A, just just forward right. the stash on. She's the atrocity mom. Yeah. My mom's a pretty big fan. Mm -hmm. But Good. that cocktail, though. Your mom should be a fan. You yeah. should always be a fan of everything you do. For sure, yeah. She's very supportive. She, she's a, yeah, she's very supportive. We're going to have to have a cocktail called Your Mom's a Fan. Oh. Oh, Your yeah. mom's a fan. <laughs> Ronnie's mom has got it going on IPA. There you go. Um, I, I think we need an atrocity cocktail. Like, yeah. I think if you want to make us an atrocity cocktail, please. I kind of think this might All right. be. All right. No, but he's I'll, an I'll take the challenge. I, I'll take I like the it. What do you think of this? To atrocity. Me and you, so, so we'll get y'all to come back on, and Sean and I will each make a cocktail mm. for y'all. And, oh, and, really? and you guys can I judge. We won't tell you who's is who's. We won't tell you who's is who's. But then you can judge us and, and decide whose cocktail is. So, what did he say? Hey, what did you say, Sean? I think Ian was talking. Oh. Yeah. I was throwing down the challenge. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. We like challenges. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys so, send us anything. So, Sean and I, Sean and I will each make a cocktail. But next time, y'all come on. Yeah. And. You guys can judge it. We won't tell you who who made which one. Oh, that's what we do. Because we love drinking alcohol from strangers that come in. Yes. It's very. Oh. <laughs> I make the best ones too. I'm here. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys. All right. So, are you ready for round two? Hell yeah. All right. So for round two, uh, if you can fit the whole bottle in the shaker. Of course, do it, but do use plenty of ice so that it gets. This is called the headbanger. So, again, thinking of you, but also uh, there's there's a classic cocktail called a Harvey Wallbanger, and uh, a Harvey Wallbanger is Galliano, the uh, the the ubiquitous tall bottle behind the bar counter that no one ever uses. Yeah. Vodka and orange juice. That's the traditional cocktail. We just got started. So this is going to be, uh, so for, for those of you playing the home game, freaking pour the bottle in a shaker, shake the sin out of it, and pour four shots. Uh, what, we're, what Ian and I are going to do is half ounce of Galliano. Okay, a little extra Galliano. No, no, no. We're using the red Galliano, right? Yeah, so this is Galliano Rouge. Uh, so Galliano Rouge tastes a lot like uh, Campari. But it's it's still that uh, that classic Galliano bottle, uh, but so hold on I had to I had to find a dump glass if, that's the one thing I forgot tonight. The all right, well, all right. So tell me again. What we'll start with the Galliano? Half, Galliano ounce, of Galli Rouge. Half ounce of Galliano Rouge. <laughs> We're gonna do two ounces of mead. So I I picked up your just basic Chaucer's mead from the uh, from the. Oh, from the Yes. I didn't know you guys liked me. I love me. Oh, my God. Oh, right. God. Way to hit the spot. Oh, man. I think I started right. So, uh, let's do about two ounces of mead. Two ounces of mead. Yep. Never 
mind, I forgot it was Friday, Mom. It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. My hands are kind of wet and I can't open the, the, uh, the vodka bottle. There we go. So once you're doing two ounces of meat, we're going to do an ounce and a half of vodka. Okay. Vodka and meat. I'm already on board. Right? Make it as strong and, uh, as you made ours. Oh, this is, oh, yeah, no, this is as strong as I made yours. Trust me. Okay. Uh, and this is, uh, I'm using Absolute America. <laughs> America. 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 Because I promised I would. I'm not going to tell you who I promised, but I promised someone I would. Okay, that's fair. fair. <laughs> uh, so, all right, so, come on, Ian. Ounce and a half. I like how Ian and I have the same jigger, by the way. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do that. And then three quarters ounce of triple sec. And back to triple sec. And back, so, so Galliano traditionally had orange juice in it. Uh, so triple sec is the kind of the, the reference, the flavor reference. Uh, to the original Harvey Wallbanger. How much you get a triple sec? Uh, three quarters ounce. So 0.75. Uh, I'm going to give it a good shake. Looks like they're already ready going. Yeah, I'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait for y'all. Oh my God, it smells like it smells beautiful. It smells like absolute murka. <clears throat> and, and your garnish for this, uh, for a traditional Harvey Wallbanger, would be an orange. And a cherry. Uh, I actually forgot my uh, my orange, so I'm just gonna do a cherry garnish. I didn't bring a knife anyway. I got the cherry, <laughs> and I can't get the cherry jar open. This is so sad. Got the cherry. <laughs> Use your muscles. I don't have any muscles. There's no muscles left. Wait, I'm doing muscle sucker open. I'm doing short. Will hot will? Oh, will there? I literally can't open it. This is so sad. What did he say? Said it's like watching the happening of a remotely <laughs> of a what? Remotely bisected. Oh, right. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> I think. Okay, we're waiting. All right, here we go. All right, John, come on. Look at it's that. All right. Get that cherry jar open. Come on. I, can, I literally can't get it open, man. My hands are too wet. Don't say anything. Cheers. 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 Oh, we went straight up with it. Sorry. Like it we like our liquor wet. Very wet. Yeah. Mm. Sloppy and wet. I poured mine rocks. Right? It's very good. How did you know my pork name? No. I got tomatoes. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. it's a little smoother than the. Uh, Do you guys see what mom said? Right? Yeah, meat. this is like, this is a fine cocktail. Yeah. This is good. Oh, the meat comes through beautifully. This tastes mm -hmm. like donuts. It's so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tastes like donuts. Tell you what, I'm gonna go up with my I'm gonna go with my backup garnish because I thought this might happen. I'm gonna put a little kiwi on there. There we go. Here we go. There we go. That's pretty. You gotta send us some limes and garnish next time. Mm. Keep it classy, just like mm. us. You guys are drinking it the right way. We're drinking it the atrocity way. Just that's fine. That's fine. I'm drinking mine on the rock. I didn't know what which way you I were drinking, so I put mine on the rock. But it melted. <laughs> ice melts. I got the cherry jar open though. Nice. I put it in the so fridge. There's one in there. I brought it over, but it took just a little too long. Yeah, someone. I put it in the fridge for a little bit. That is I okay. I have a secret talent. I am able to open up beers with my tit. Let me see. Nice. You. Wait, wait. Cans or bottles? I feel like this is an important distinction. It has to be a twist off, okay? I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What? Like, <laughs> what? What? She benches 800 pounds. <laughs> You got so so. What you need to learn now is like, have you seen that that one video where the guy does it with his mullet, like flips it around? You got to do the like the titty well, whip. I see this. <laughs> no, 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 I've not seen it. No. Go ahead and send us a link to that YouTube yeah, video. Yeah, please do. And, and send us a we'll send you a video yeah, of a guy surfing down some hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? You have my address, so that's true. So we we like these. Excellent. Don't be shy. Oh, we're calling this the headbanger. Oh, and I forgot. So, so a little tiny, tiny bit of history. Oh, the yes, reason, please. the reason I went with honey wine for this is Galliano. This again, weird tall bottle. It's always behind a bar, but never used. Is named for usually Italian. it's yellow. Usually, usually it's, it's yellow. yellow. They make two, and they yeah. went back to the original recipe in the last like few years. So it actually tastes different now. But it was named for an Italian officer who fought in the Indo-Ethiopian War way back in the day. I never knew this. And so being that this is only used in two classic cocktails, neither of which are very good, the yellow bird 
and the uh, and the Harvey Wallbanger, uh, Ethiopians actually make honey wine. That's like one of their exports. So it's, it's really? actually a big thing. So that's that's why we went with honey wine instead of just the vodka OJ Galliano. That is really cool. Way better, right? It's really, really beautiful. It's delicious. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. This is a gorgeous cocktail. And I, yeah, I think it would it would taste really amazing if we had, we'd had it on ice, but the heat here is melting everything. I, I mean, uh, it's it's like still good. Just sweat alone is like. Like we could make a cocktail of our own sweat right now. Yeah. I can taste that. <laughs> you, the very no, first sip it touches my tongue, I can taste that sweetness. It's really good. I love the. It tastes like donuts to me. <laughs> I don't taste, taste donuts, like but that's interesting, Jess. I feel like I feel like you really want donuts right now. Yes. This stuff is pretty good too. It makes me want to slap your mama. Mmm, slap their mama. Right. Slap your mama. My mom's a school counselor. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what? Undertones of pink. Undertones of pink. Yes, that's that's my stage name. How did you know? <laughs> you know your mom says that she's too young to be hearing this. I know. I heard that. And she, uh oh. Oh God, mom. <laughs> what made you? What made you decide to use the the honey wine? Yeah. Uh, so so that was literally because of the um, the the relationship between the name of Galliano, uh, who's. <laughs> So since that guy fought in the Indo-Ethiopian Wars, yeah, right. which Italy was famous for, not here, though we, the U.S. did not participate. But um, in, in Ethiopia, besides making a, a few beers out there, they actually are, they make and also export honey wine, mead. Right. So that's, so when I was thinking about how mead, Galliano mead would is taste. like one of the oldest alcohols in the world. Yeah, I mean, it's fermented honey, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to me, it made sense to try to, to pair that uh, honey wine and Galliano, and honey wine's obviously going to be a good sweetener in a cocktail. So that's oh my goodness! I just saw those get down. Right. Oops. You, you got a dog. Throw this shit down. Water. She just stole all of our booze. I did, okay, now what the hell just happened? Wait, we need another one. Just He's getting ready for the next song. Is that's what happened? Yeah. Uh oh. Ready for the next song? Are we ready? There's the segue. Are you, are you ready? Hey, that's a good segue. Way to ride the segue in. I don't know. What I'm, I don't know. We're all, we're all, we're all for the next song. Oh. So, if there's anybody watching that uh, that's been following us, um, today we're actually going to play a new song. So, um, it's going to be our last song. Uh, it'll be our third song to play today. Uh, but yeah, just so you know, we're playing a new song that yeah nobody's heard yet. Woohoo! Yeah, world world debut. Oh, it is. And it will be. And then next week. So we got three then, new songs, but yeah, today we're going to play one of them, and then we're just going to keep it a secret until it comes out. Nice. <laughs> until we can play. Secret time. Yeah. Secret time. Only, only on the Barry Traveler. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, we definitely want to be in your show again, so don't so, be shy. Let's see how Hell this yes. goes. <laughs> we want to come out. We want to come out and have a concert and go ah, to a concert out yeah. there. No that's what, you must. like Washington, Oregon. That's that's where we want to come out nice. there. If you want to come here? We'll see you in five years. But yeah, totally. Mom, if we play over the okay. rainbow, it's going to be the Atrocity Girl version of it. So <laughs> I don't think you're going to hear that. Somewhere oh, over the rainbow. The rainbow. I don't even know. It's yeah. not funny, actually. And it means what it means for a reason. 
and it's this is not to you guys because we love you. Yeah. Absolutely love you guys. Ooh. Let's do it, ladies.
Oh, shit, man. That was awesome. That was kick ass. Oh, my friends, the headbang. Oh, that was grooving. I, I, no, I loved it. The hair came down. It's just like, yes. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Brought me back to my days of like, yeah, with the long hair. Well, we have a thing with me. Angie made a bet the last live stream that we did. I had yeah. it in a ponytail, and she's like, I don't know why you bother putting in the ponytail. No you, shit. You always That's pull it down after the first song, and I'm like, no, I don't. And look what happens. <laughs> See? The rock Especially comes out, man. Headbanger. I'm sorry. I had to, uh, I had to appease you, gentlemen. All right. You can't stop well, the rock. Well, we're gonna we're gonna keep this party going, but right now we have to do some shameless plugs. So, yeah, it's oh yeah, time girls, to wrap up the live stream. So, uh, atrocity, yeah. plug yourself. Girls. Tell us, tell us where to find you. You can find us on Facebook at Atrocity Girl. You can find us at atrocitygirl.com. You can find us on Instagram, atrocitygirl underscore band. I mean, you can find oh, us on Twitter. Yeah, we're, we're on Twitter. We're on Twitter. We have a yeah, Patreon. We do sometimes do extra content. If you want to do even Patreon and help donate to Atrocity Girl, you can choose any level from a dollar to ten, whatever you want. And we will. On Patreon. And we are doing tarot card readings. Yes, we are. So. so we, so Jess and I are, are doing tarot yeah, readings tarot for reading. Patreon. Johnny too. Oh, oh Johnny, sure, sure, sure. Getting in on this. Um, but Patreon <laughs> slash Atrocity Girl. Tarot reading. A dollar a month. Call the Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> join, join me now. <laughs> join me now. Exactly. Well, we do a bunch of stuff. Um, cooking lessons. Cooking. Take my hand if you want to live. Yeah, you can watch our food challenges. Food. Our food challenges. We eat a lot. Oh, we do we take a lot. Do I'll do some food challenges. Show, I'm down for food challenges. All on our Patreon. We eat a lot. Us. We do eat a lot. Yeah. We eat a lot. And we also okay. play some rocking tunes. So. Yes. Yeah. We, I mean, I'm serious. So, like I said earlier about how we met, Johnny Angel and I will have the epic Ryan and Johnny taco rematch, and I'm going to win. Yeah, they're going to do a taco rematch. And we're going to watch. We're, Angie and I are probably only going to eat three tacos each, but, but we'll we're going to go ahead and watch rich. this. You know you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat four. Okay, maybe four. Shut up. You're gonna take four. the other two to go to your boyfriend. Isn't so stop. Isn't it funny how you say the word baby? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to take the taco challenge with you. I would, I would, I'm, I'm, I'm small in stature, but I can handle some fucking tacos. Oh man, you guys, come to, <laughs> if you guys come to Seattle, Johnny Angel and I will take you to the taco we bar. We're take, gonna have a taco challenge. I'm going to the taco, taco bar. I'll come to Seattle. I will be in Seattle again. My wife, my wife is from Seattle, so all her <laughs> friends and family are. From there, so. Yeah, me and uh, me and uh, Brand. Yes. That <laughs> chocolate yeah. girls will teach you right. Yeah. We'll so see. yeah, so my wife, my wife is from Snohomish. Oh yeah, she I went to. Couple too. Okay, she probably knows where that is. She does. Yeah. <laughs> I, I live in she Snohomish went. County, so. There you go. Yeah, she went no, to Snohomish right. High School. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do our plugs Don's before we plugs. get too far yeah. off topic. Because we'll have post show. We're gonna have that'll post be fantastic. Show. Uh, you've got the bottle in hand. You've got the bottle in hand. Like she's got, she's got. The, the it looks like honey Jack Daniels. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> Mom, I learned from the best. Can I just shout out to my mom? Mom, I learned from the best. Was it her talking about Well, the reason I bought her, I bought Angie was because the 14th and the 16th oh, were both she Angie and Jess's me. birthday, so. <laughs> nice. So, uh, well, I want to say uh, in the comments of, uh, of this video live stream on Facebook is also the Venmo. If you would just like to tip Atrocity Girl, uh, that way you can support them and their music and, uh, and their watch to uh, fantastic initiatives. So please do that uh if you'd like us the beery traveler like us share us follow us either oh here God. on facebook Atrocity Girl says, please, Atrocity Girl says, go follow the beery traveler liking is not enough honey we need to love you yeah. yes yeah. we need the hearts love we need the, 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 the love you. hearts Every day and every night on Instagram, we're the underscore beer <laughs> underscore traveler. On Twitter, we're beery underscore traveler. Uh, of course, here on Facebook, uh, 
Beery Traveler on YouTube, the Beery Traveler. Uh, and, 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 oh, and, and, I was going to say, you got to make your posts on Instagram um, like shareable for repost. I was going to repost you and it wouldn't let me. It said, We're not shareable. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, so, so, Make yeah, that shit shareable. I, I didn't know you couldn't share us by default. Who does not not want to share with them? We'll talk about it later. Damn we'll you interwebs. Damn we'll you interwebs. We'll, we'll uh, talk about it. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, well, thank you for coming on. And thank you, uh, unseen and unheard on the main show, but Ty, our director, who tells us how to look good and how to sound good. He'll come. You'll, you'll see him on the after show. You'll see him on the after show. So, uh, with that, uh, we're always looking for good times and great beers. My name is Ian. I'm the Beery Traveler. With me, as always, is Sean. Thank you to the Atrocity Girls for coming on. Uh, we're going to sign off until next Friday. Uh, we'll have some kind of show coming for you. But, uh, hey, thanks again. Uh, if you want to come on, come find us at beer uh, the Beery Traveler. Yeah. Beer. That's the one. Email us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> The and Beery Traveler got beer. Yes. And we're off. Woo! Oh, my gosh.